Hello there, I'm Janko with more Pokemon Emerald. In the last part we got to start a Pokemon from, from Professor Birch after saving him. And we started off the game and moved into a new house. That's really all we did. So I want to give the introduction to Pokemon Centers. We talked to this nurse here when we go to Pokemon Center. And there's usually, in this game, every town has a Pokemon Center, so that's really convenient. You just say yes, and then you can rest your Pokemon. It'll completely restore their HP. Their, and their power points for their moves, and any status conditions or anything like that, like paralysis, sleep, poison, burn, freeze, stuff like that. And then here, if you boot up your PC, it's someone's PC for now, but we'll get to that later. Um, you can go to Wiccan Withdraw Pokemon, you can deposit, you can move Pokemon, you can move items, and here's the basic box system, you know, there's 14 boxes in this game, so. Yeah, and then for your own PC, it's like an item storage where you can store some items. So I can like, which I don't have any items, of course. I can't. I can deposit items. I can even toss items. So yeah, that's basically a one on one, one on one, or one on one for Pokemon standards. And what I did in the last part was I trained my. Uh, no, what I did off camera is I trained my Torchic up to level seven because I don't want to try the training on screen because it take a little bit and. I'm pretty sure you guys just want to see more gameplay of this game. So here we are on Route 1 or 3. You can go up here. You can talk to this dude. He says, My Pokemon are staggering tired. I should have brought a potion. Aww. Poor guy. Ah, oh, man. Okay. I don't like being interrupted, you know? It's just bad. There we go. Okay, I'm into it. Okay, so here's a man. Let's talk to him. Let's see. The Pokemon found on Route 1 or 3 include... Shocked face, a <laughs> shock reaction. Oh, hi, girl. Oh, I see that my dad gave you a Pokemon as a gift. Since we're here, let's have a quick battle. I'll give you, a, I'll give you a taste of what being a trainer is like. Okay, so here's your basic rival in this game. At least one of them. But May will have whatever is super effective against your po Pokemon, your starter that you chose. So if you chose Torchic, like me, she'll have Mudkip. If you chose Mudkip like her, she'll have a Torchic or not? No, a Trico. My bad, a Trico. And if you if you chose Trico, she will have a Torchic. So it's basically rock paper scissors. <laughs> yeah. So let's just scratch this mudkip. I would apprehend because I'm too old to have it, but you know. There we go. Just a tackle and scratch player like that. Oh yeah, almost the way. Oh, that's great. You got really pretty good. Thanks. That's three hundred poker dollars for my three dollars. <laughs> Cause every poker dollars, every poker dollars, if any of real money. Yeah. I think I know why my dad has an eye out for you now. I mean, you just got that Pokemon, but it already likes you. You might be able to befriend any Pokemon, any kind of Pokemon easily. Well, it's time to head back to the lab. Yeah, let's go back to the lab then, yeah. Is your Pokemon healed after that battle? No, it's not actually. Okay, whatever. So let's just go back up. Oh wait, let's make our way back to Little Root Town. Go right over here, let's hurry home. Will do, will do. And a difference in the clothing between Ruby and Sapphire and Emerald. Um, in Emerald you get this cool green themed clothing, like you get a green bandana if you're a boy, and a green backpack if you're a boy, but then also May gets a bandana, instead of just a sweatband, like the, um, yeah, 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 yeah. All of them. yeah, she does actually, <laughs> but they're, they're but green, they're green, they're green for the most part, yeah. Oh, hi, Gretel. I heard you be May on your first try, that's excellent. May's been helping with my research for a long time. May has an extensive history as a Pokemon trainer already, as a trainer already. But you've, you've only got to about 1 or 3 of seeing Pokemon so far. <laughs> How can it be a, an extensive amount of history? Ha, <laughs> here girl, I ordered this for my research, but I think you should have it. It's Pokedex. Yeah, Pokedex, and I'm not going to complete that. <laughs> yeah. The Pokedex is a high-tech tool that automatically records any... Make, make, uh, automatically makes a record of any Pokemon you meet or catch. Like it may, goes everywhere with it. Whenever it, my kid catches every Pokemon and records its data in the Pokedex, what why May looks for me while I'm out doing field work and shows me. Oh wow, Grodel, you got a Pokedex too. That's 
great, just like me. I've got something for you too. Obtain the Pokeballs. Five, five of them would be exact. It's fun if you catch a lot of Pokemon. If you can catch a lot of Pokemon. I'm going to look all over the place because I want different Pokemon. If I find any cute Pokemon, I'll catch them with Pokeballs. Let's talk to the aid again. Yeah, you say the same thing, right? Okay. That's cool. Okay, and the fastest way you get this I think the fastest game you get with running shoes in is this game. Uh yeah, I think so. Because even after in gold, silver, and crystal and hard gold and silver silver, you don't get till um Cherry Grove City. Which, I don't know. Hey Grotel. Grotel, Grotel, did you introduce yourself to Professor Birch? Oh, what an adorable Pokemon you got from Professor Birch, how nice. You, your fa you and your fa you are your father's child, alright. You look good together with Pokemon. Here honey, I've got... I've, if you're going out on an adventure, wear these running shoes. Put a zip in your step. Nice, we got the running shoes now. How nice. Yeah, they come with like, instructions, yeah. But basically just press and hold the um, B down to run. To think that you have your very own Pokemon now. Your father will be overjoyed. But please be careful. If anything happens, you can come home. Go on and get him them. Go on. Go on, go get them, honey. Okay, now if you hold down B, or in my case, one on the remote, you can run. So there's actually a Pokemon in here I want to catch. Playing good, I love it. Okay, what I want to do is actually go back to my house and rest up. I could easily do that to put one center, but I might brush it. Okay, there we go. Nice. How are you doing, Goldie? You look a little tired. I think you should take a rest for a rest for a bit. Take care, honey. So now that we've done that, we can actually just go back to the field. And I think actually Route 103 has a Pokemon we can go to. Okay, that was uh, Fuchiana again. The last one. <laughs> so let's see if we can find it in Route 103. Not it. <laughs> okay, here's one of the Pokemon I wanted. Yeah, we'll catch this Wingle. Wingle is actually be my flying type for the walkthrough. So yeah. Let's try to catch this thing. It's just slow. I think, I think one scratch will do it. Blue. Okay, bad. And that's on the phone. <laughs> okay, whatever. Let's use a Pokeball. Let's do it, guys. Let's see. One, two, three. Oh my gosh, you just. Oh my gosh. The, come on, Wingle. You gotta be better than that, man. Come on. We should be able to be caught this time, I bet. Let's try this again. One, two, three. Quick. Okay, there we go. Nice. Nice. Oh. Oh, no, I heard that before. I thought it was loud enough to do that. If I nickname the Wingle, I'll kiss you. I'll name it Peter. I'll name it Peter because Peter the Pelican sounds pretty cool, even though it doesn't exist. I don't think there's a Pelican named Peter, but I wanted to give another name. It's, it's just a boy, I want to give it a boy name, you know? Peter. And... I'm going to get two more Pokeballs from the Mario Kart, just to make it for the one I lost. Yeah. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, I'm looking for a secret Pokemon. Hey, here it is. Yep, it's level 4. Cool. Nice. This is a Zigzagoon. I'm actually going to use Zigzagoon in my, for my team, actually, so it's pretty exciting. 
you gotta do one more attack so I can use that scratch on you. Of course, except for if you get a critical hit, you don't uh, just ignore the stat changes then. Dang it. I wanted to catch that six again, man. That was in the clear for that, you know? Let's hope we find a six again soon. Oh, there we go. Nice. Cool, we found one. Okay, let's catch it then. Just scratch on it. Oh, I'm just gonna leave it at that, okay. Oh, dang it, I didn't even do that. Okay, cool. Yeah, okay, let's do this. One, two, three. Yes, there we go. Nice, we caught it. Nice. So I'm gonna make uh yeah, let's just add six games get the Pokedex and let's give it a nickname. And I'm gonna name it Speedy. Because, you know, Lightning is actually a speed Pokemon, actually. It's pretty fast. Especially in the anime, it's in the Pokedex Century that it can run like 60 miles per hour in a straight line. Something like that. Let's go speed, you know? Yeah, um. Yeah. This guy. Yeah, you first get to the footprints of a red Pokemon, but it turns out. Yeah, this guy was usually right here, but, um. He. Was sketching Pokemon, uh, very Pokemon footprint, but it ended up being his own basically. And I forgot to show that, but that's okay. So, I think I'll try catching that Pokemon. It's, I'm just trying to find another Zig again. Let's see if we can find another Zig again for my HM slave, you know. Okay, fine, we'll, we'll do something productive actually. Let's show the summaries of Peter and Speedy real quick. Okay, so it's Keen Eye, which prevents a lot of so actually that's what I wanted actually cool. And... You know, it's probably going to be switch this too. And it, it has really good speed, which is pretty cool. And good special attack too, which I'm happy with that too. Yeah. And then Speedy here. Has the ability to pick up. It has good defense, which is pretty cool. And everything else is balanced. <laughs> defense is just much higher than everything else. Tackle and grow, okay. So let's try to find out what those six again. Wait, what's what natures are those two actually? Let's see here. Um rash nature, which is pretty cool. And the sassy nature. Ooh, a sassy. <laughs> so let's find another tr another six again. If I don't try to if I can't find the next three wild encounters, then I'll just do it off screen man. It's not that big of a to show, you know. Okay, if I don't find it in the next wild encounter, then I'm just gonna catch it off screen. Which is okay, because it's just an HM slave, really. It's another six again. Yeah, I didn't end up finding in those um, restrictions or in those encounters. So that's okay. So this has been my Pokemon Emerald walks through part. The next part will take on what lies west of Old Town. And we'll have four Pokemon by that time. Right now, we only have three, as you can see right here. But my fourth will not be another Zigzagoon serving as my HM slave. So, this has been Dragon Go again. I'd like to thank you for watching again. Goodbye, and hope to see you guys in the next part of my Pokemon Emerald walkthrough guide.